Shepard Bushiri's mother-in-law and daughters were not bound by any travel restrictions, yet were stopped from leaving Malawi. That's my head for today, my head news. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Jones. Please, before I continue, please subscribe. Subscribe so that you can receive more news on this channel. Subscribing is free. Receiving uploads notifications is also free. Thank you very much. Let's continue. Self-proclaimed Prophet Shepherd Bushiri's daughter and mother-in-law have been prevented from leaving Malawi. Bushiri's attorney, Wapona Kita, confirmed to the newspaper that the daughters and their grandmother were on Friday prevented from traveling to Kenya. We are still trying to understand why they were blocked from leaving because they have not committed any offense and there are no travel restrictions imposed on them, he said. Kita did not divulge further details on why the children and their mother were going to Kenya and when they had planned to return and when they had planned to return to Malawi. Bushiri and his wife Mary fled South Africa a week after being released on 200,000 bail by the Pretoria Magistrate Court. Shortly after leaving, Bushiri said in a Facebook post that they had left the country for their safety. Bushiri declares 2021 a year of miracles and unlocking millions. The Malawian fugitive has hinted at an extension of his church's spiritual territories, including this declarations that millions will be unlocked. The Bushiris and their co-accused Lindy were Ntokwana, Willa Mudolo and his wife Zetu face charges of theft, money laundering and fraud in connection with an alleged 100 million investment scheme. The Bushiris bail condition bad them from tra traveling outside South Africa. They had their co-accused. They had their co-accused were instructed to report every Monday and Friday to their nearest police station. Barred from or barred from disposing of property ordered to hand over to the state the original title deed to their 5.5 million property in Centurion and bad from threatening witnesses the investigation and prosecution team even while preaching their extradition case will be heard on March 8 in Malawi Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Jones. Please subscribe to hear more notification news updated. Thank you very much. God bless you. Goodbye.